Well, joining us now for our third mutual update, which we do every month, is Annie McCary. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Happy now, usually you and I talk about media and communications, but today you have your uh, manner alterations hat on. Yes, I do. Yeah. The third mutual right. would update manner alterations. In third mutual or condo, so it's quite different from the co-ops that are in United. But this is kind of an interesting process, the manner alterations, but it's an important one. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, and it, it looks kind of intimidating if you mm -hmm. look at the process. And so the goal here, especially for residents in th Third Mutual, is to have a process that is, um, that's more easy to follow. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes there are complications with the application process, which of course delays the work that's being done, which of course delays sometimes people moving into their manner. So right. the idea is any kind of alterations to make it as simple as possible. Right, and if you have a couple of slides here, we're gonna talk about some of those things. But the biggest thing is that they have to submit and go through this process or else, you know, they could be non-compliant and at some point when they sell their home, they're going to have to go back and either tear that alteration apart or kind of just start over again. So exactly. let's go through the process. I know that some of it, you know, is a matter of just kind of an inspection process too. Yes, and that inspection process, you know, of course, is, it comes under the umbrella of the maintenance and construction division. Mm -hmm. And so we have the manner alterations, as you can see on the, the uh, slide there that manner alteration, there's a lot of moving parts to go with the whole department. Mm -hmm. So we're, again, we're focusing just on the manner alterations. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes too, you know, people will um, submit and then staff basically goes to their location and kind of inspects and make sure everything is going to be done properly once the permit process happens? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the whole manor alterations department, there's a whole lot of, again, moving parts. They do a lot. They process, supervise, and they provide administrative support for the permission process. And they also work with the variance requests for retail inspections. Mm -hmm. They assist uh, residents, contractors, real estate agents with rules and regulations um, related to permit and resale process. So, so as you can see, and I won't go through all of those, but there's a lot, there's a, a big process with the manor alteration. Right. And the idea is to make the process as simple as we can for, for the residents. Right, and there's also an architectural control and standards committee that also you work in cooperation with. So, you know, there's quite a moving pieces during this whole process. Absolutely, and that's that's the the um, I guess that's the good news mm -hmm. about the alterations uh, control and standards committee. They are meeting, and what they are committed to doing now, most recently, is m meeting on a more regular basis. So mm -hmm. last month, uh, actually this month, they've met twice already to review some of these variants, these um, applications, mm -hmm. and get the, through that process. Once the Architecture Control and Standards Committee approves a variance process, it doesn't have to go back to the entire board for approval. It can be approved through, at the committee level. Right. And with that process being implemented, that could actually lessen the amount of time it takes to get a process done, as much as 30 to 45 days. Oh, even. wow. Yeah, because yes. it is a long process. Now, this this next slide I really like because it gets you from the start to finish. It kind of tells you, you know, the, the process of how this is really going to go. Exactly, exactly. And oftentimes, well, most always, this is always the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes residents may not understand the full process and they may submit a partial application and then the application has to be returned back. So this is a, a more simplified way uh, to get you started from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And even though it may look a little intimidating right. for someone, but um, it's quite simple. And the first thing you got to do is you can either call or email um, the manor alterations department um, and uh, find out what specific information you might need. You right, you can need. email alterations at vmsinc.org to start this process. And if you really look at this slide, it's really only a seven step process to get you from the start to finish. So if we can get through each one of those in a timely fashion, you know, you could have it all done, you know, and be comfortable in your home. Absolutely. And that's a key. You made a key statement right there. If we can, you know, this first process, if the first process is not um, done correctly, then it's going to delay the process. Right. So, again, we've got the information there where you can call 
or email and, and get the information right up front. Mm -hmm. And then on the website, you can also download uh, the application which is another important part of the process. And, and I've actually gone through there and everything that you need is in that application process. Right. One of the important things that needs to, when you submit the application, is the uh, contractor information. It's really, really important that we mm -hmm. have the information on the contractors. And if that information is missing, then oftentimes right. that, that can also delay the process. And a licensed contractor. Yes, yes, right. a licensed contractor. Right. Right. And oftentimes, that's, a, that's another key issue mm -hmm. for especially new buyers coming in that are buying a new unit it and want it uh, remodeled, mm -hmm. the, the contractors have got to be right. licensed and, and held accountable. Absolutely. So. Now the next slide you want to share with us is a variance process and this is a requirement for construction, what they consider non-standard alterations and it does state that it's a, it's a little more complicated than the standard uh, request. It is more complicated and that's where the committee comes in, the Architectural Control and Standards Committee come in. Mm -hmm. They review all of those applications and they look at whether it, it does require or need a variance mm -hmm. process and then again the committee will determine that, or right. the documents have already determined what is uh, a standard alteration, what is considered a non-standard right. alteration. And I believe we have a couple of um, uh, uh, points that we wanted to make about the uh, variance process. Mm -hmm. um, it requires, um, required to construct a non-standard alteration, you need that permit. Um, more complicated than the standard mutual consent, these are the ones that are uh, maybe considered, depending on the pro, pro I can't talk, <laughs> project, <laughs> right. uh, architectural consistency, the structural impact to mutual property, encroachment into exclusive use common areas, and even some of the ones that have been grandfathered in as approval. So mm -hmm. the Architectural Control and Standard Committee looks at this whole process. Right. When and usually when you're impeding on the common property, that's when people's attention, you know, they get their, the neighbor's attention when something like that happens, and that's why we need to have to go through this process to make sure that we're not doing something like that. Absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. especially when it's looking at um, their common areas right. because anything that's not exclusively yours, then it's considered com common area, mm -hmm. and so it's open, available to anyone. Now, the Manor Alterations Department also works, like you mentioned earlier, with our resales uh, department downstairs as well, which of course uh, you know, is in coordination with all the real estate agents in Laguna Woods Village. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, and they are very, very supportive in assisting with uh, the resale and providing the necessary inspections because, again, um, it has to be inspected so that it is up to par. Mm -hmm. Now, we, uh, we mentioned earlier how this is a seven-step process, but you had mentioned going to LagunaWoodsVillage.com, and then if they just go to residence, you will see a number of drop-down items and they'll see manor alterations yes. and they can go through that process and like you said it has the forms and the permit process right there for everybody you really don't even need to come in the community center you can just email them and fill out the online forms to begin the process of your alteration absolutely mm -hmm. and uh, not recently but a while back i had the well, the opportunity to have uh, to submit an application for manor alteration, mm -hmm. and it is a it from my, my experience was very very easy, mm -hmm. contacting the department and making sure I had all the necessary information, and they and they are very very helpful right. in that department in terms of letting residents know where you are in the process, what else you need, so yeah. that we can expedite the process. Yeah, and people need to realize, too, you have over 6,600 condos in your mutual. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of homes and a lot of people that may have requests, and plus we have people moving in and moving out, so they need to be patient through this process. But the first thing they need to do is uh, email alterations at vmsinc.org, or give them a call at 597-4616, Again, that number is 5974616, and that'll actually begin the entire process. Absolutely. And hopefully those seven steps are uh, done quickly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And they track the request um, uh, pretty smoothly as well. So right. um, 
And it's just really important that we all communicate well together. Absolutely. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today on the program. Third Mutual meets on the third Tuesday of every month, and that's yeah. at 9.30 live in the boardroom. And your next meeting is going to be on May 17th. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, that's Annie day. McCary, and she's a director with Third Laguna Hills Mutual. And that is our update for this month. We're going to be back with more of our program right after this.